Hi, this is Mike, and this is part two of our SEO overview. we will show you how to rank and profit using SEO. Now, we're going to talk today about how to dominate the search engines to generate leads and create a loyal following because those are key things you want to do. SEO is probably one of the best ways of generating a long-term following because what you do is by dominating the search engines for specific terms, you start getting people attracted to your website. Not only when you attract people to your website, but you need to make sure that you maintain them and keep them for the long term. Now, one of the things I want to show with this is it's very important to realize that search engines do not rank websites. They rank pages. And what I mean by that is that what they do is they rank the specific pages as part of a website. Google does not rank videos as well. It does not rank forums. It does not rank anything like that. Google ranks the web pages. So in this case, you can see that we are ranking here in this case here for influx entrepreneur Brandon and Mike our website is ranking number one position and this is just the page not the actual website now if you look at the second entry is actually for influx entrepreneur it's their main site but again this is just the main page this is not to do with the entire website is that specific page entrepreneur.info page and you can see below it there is a couple of YouTube videos that rank as well again those are not the actual videos but those are the pages associated with those videos within YouTube. Those are key things to distinguish when you're looking at this. Okay, now again, within YouTube, this is a search is done, again, on the same terms. And each of these search results are, again, they're not on the video. They're on the pages with the videos on them. So each video, even within YouTube, has its own page. And that's what's being shown right here is, is a ranking for each page within YouTube because each page has its own URL. Okay, so this is the key what you want to do. We've already talked about having keywords, but in this case here, you want, when you're creating a page, you want to have one new page or video for each keyword you're going to have. Okay, you want to dedicate it. Now, you're going to have some secondary keywords on each page, but when you start dedicating, I'll say, a blog post or a video, you got to come in mind, do your research, determine what keyword you want to rank for or key, what keyword phrase. For example, you can see here for MLM leads, and MLM lead generation. Each keyword phrase should have its own dedicated pages. So in this case here, we have brandonmike.influxentrepreneur.net slash MLM leads, and then we have slash MLM dash lead dash generation. Each one has its own page. Now again, like I was saying, within those pages, they may, they're probably going to have multiple other keywords, but the main keyword for each of those pages is those two terms. Each, each page should have one term in mind that you want to rank for. Now we're talking about ranking. Really the idea here is you want to get in the top three spots of Google because that's where all the traffic is going to come from. Roughly 60% of your traffic comes from the top three spots. So you can see here 36.4% and again this is, this is back in 2011 research that 36.4% of the click-throughs came through on the first ranking and there's a sudden drop off and start getting to the second and third ranking. So you can see really ideally you want to get the first ranking, but if you had to within the top three, those are the ideal spots you want to go. As soon as you start going beyond that, you start getting a lot less traffic and a lot, lot less likely you're being clicked on unless for some reason you say if you're using a video and you have a video thumbnail that's going to stand out. So really this, this is kind of the idea here. When you're creating pages to get ranked, you really got to set realistic expectations. Now you want to do is you want to create content around a lot of keywords to rank in the search engines. And this can be blog posts, YouTube videos, forum posts, press releases, and authority sites like Blogger to rank these keywords and to make us money and generate fresh leads. Now some of the content will rank and some won't. And some may rank for a while and then suddenly lose the rankings. So really what you want to do is you don't want to get emotionally tied to your rankings. You've got to have patience and control your emotions and realize that it can, you can't be married to a specific page. You may have the most beautiful page and you love the way it's written, but you don't want to set all your expectations on that page because if you saw something slipping and you start spending all your time backlinking it, backlinking it, backlinking it, you really don't know why it's not ranking, why it's dropping out of sight. So just let it go and start creating a new page around the same content and create a new page and try to rank that. You can try, sometimes you can do, sometimes you can back rank something back up again, but you don't know what's going on with Google. Google could be doing some new stuff, new, new algorithms, and for some reason that page got marked and dropped right off. So at that point, you might as well just cut your losses, start a new page, and dedicate your time on a new page instead of worrying about the old one. 
because what you want to do is you want to work off the volume and get quality. So we have lots of volume with quality. Now, if you set unrealistic expectations about the ranking of a particular video, that's where you could potentially fail because really the main reason why people are going to fail is because they've set unrealistic expectations up front and they're going to get discouraged. That's why you've got to create the content, do the best you can, rank up, and if you don't make it and you can't get the backlink back up or if you lose it, lose your ranking, don't worry about it, move on to the next. Just keep on creating content on a daily basis. So again, say, talking about on a daily basis, you need to be consistent. Most people fail because they're not consistent. You only want to create as much content as you have time to rank. You don't want to create a thousand blog posts and only be able to rank a hundred of them because it's a waste of your time. You still want to get in the habit of blogging daily because that's key because Google likes that because it needs to have that fresh content on a regular basis. So what I do is I blog daily and I try to rank about 50 to 100 of those blog posts every every day. So I, sorry, every, every year. So if I'm getting say roughly 350 blog posts every year, I'll try to rank between 50 to 100 of them in a year. And at the same point, you might as well make sure if you're really spending that effort, it's taking a lot of time, especially if you're trying to do this part time. What you want to do is you want to focus yourself on doing quality work and then ranking the quality work. You don't want to rank stuff that's really garbage, poor quality videos, or poor quality content and try to rank that because really it's a waste of your time. you got to think of it this way. Create the valuable content and then rank it because if somebody does find it and if it looks like crap, they're going to bounce right off of it and Google's going to see that and you're going to lose your ranking anyway. Besides, you want people to have staying power. You want people to see your content, get stuck on it, stay on the page, and then get lost in your web page, and then possibly subscribe and buy from you down the road. You don't want to have them bounce right away and say, this is garbage and not want to go near the page. Okay, so keep that in mind. This is your first impression. First impressions with your website are key because you have new people coming on. You want them to keep on coming through the web page and possibly subscribe so you can have them as a con on a constant basis as your visitor. And you don't need to pitch people like crazy. I know this is not really a place because it is SEO, but in a sense it is because if you keep on pitching, you're drive people off. What you want to do is create the content that people want to see. It's going to help them. They're going to like and focus on marketing that content. So if you create folks and lead with value and not trying to pitch, you're going to have people coming back and you're going to start seeming to them as the authority on a particular topic. And they want to come back to you over and over again. So eventually they will buy because you're going to have these affiliate links on there and they're going to eventually say, oh, I need this tool or that tool or I need to use this to start making money. So if you have the presentations there and the tools you're using and present them and show them how you're using them and make sure you're using them so you can talk about them correctly and with integrity, but don't be pitchy. Okay, Just focus purely on the value. So once you have a system that works, okay, you're getting down to the SEO, you know how to do SEO, you keep on blogging every day, you're ranking your, your video, you're ranking your, your blog posts. The trick is now is you start scaling up and that's key. So you go, you create this content, this is where you start looking at outsourcing. You're making money in, as you start making some, some sizable amount of money, make sure you reinvest some of that money back into your business and that includes hiring people to do some of the work for you, outsourcing. There's nothing wrong with outsourcing, say you're backlinking. If you, if you know what you're doing and you're able to portray that to someone else, that's what you can start doing. It starts outsourcing and backlinking so you free up more of your time and doing what you do best, whether it be blogging, like which I prefer to do. I prefer to do my own blogs, but I'm happy to have someone else outsource and do my backlinking for me because really that's not as important to me. It is important, but it's a lot easier to do and you can create that initial content for spinning. Someone else can spin the articles and put it into your uh, parasite sites, your secondary sites, and do all the backlinking. But when it comes down to the actual writing the blog and putting, being the front man, that's what I prefer to be and creating the blog post and let someone else do that other work. So that's where you start scaling up. Because if you did everything yourself, you're never going to be able to scale up and make the sizable amount of money that a lot of the people are, who are making online. Because you're basically you're working against yourself. There's always so much you can do. Use other people's time. Purchase other people's time. And that way you can start scaling up. Okay, that's it for this video. And stay tuned for more information about how to use SEO to increase your, your rankings and get the traffic to your website.